By the year 1915, the Japanese Navy had managed to complete half of the ships required for its 8-8 fleet program. The Navy had four Congo-class battlecruisers and four battleships, two Fuso-class and two Ise-class. The strain on the Japanese economy was mounting, and in 1916 the Parliament would allow funding for only one more battleship. This was to become Nagato, the first battleship launched in the world to mount 16-inch guns. Around the same time, the United States announced plans to massively expand their number of capital ships, the so-called Big Navy Act of 1916. The construction of ten new battleships, four Colorado class and six South Dakota class, not to be confused with the class of the same name built 20 years later, were planned. The Japanese government changed their mind and decided to allow more ships to be built, one of which would be Nagato's sister ship Mutsu. It was this rapid escalation in shipbuilding that led to the Washington Naval Treaty of 1922, limiting naval shipbuilding by major powers. Nagato was launched on the 3rd of November 1919, and Mutsu followed on the 31st of May the following year. Nagato's main armament consisted of eight 16.1-inch guns in four dual turrets. The Japanese 41cm 45 calibre gun was a new design. The Nagato-class warships were the only ships fitted with them, although several capital ship classes were cancelled after the Washington Treaty, including the Amagi battlecruiser, were planned with this gun as their main armament. Its Type 91 shell, the type used during World War II, weighed 2,250 pounds, had a muzzle velocity of 790 meters per second and a maximum range of just over 38,700 meters when the gun range was increased after reconstruction in the 1930s. Many older 16-inch shells were converted into 800 kilogram airdrop bombs, some of which used in the raid on Pearl Harbor in 1941, one of which possibly caused the destruction of USS Arizona. As constructed, Nagato was powered by 21 water tube boilers, delivering power to four steam turbines, one for each propeller, with a total output of 80,000 horsepower, allowing her to achieve a top speed of 26.7 knots on sea trials. The main armor belt of Vickers cemented steel was 305mm thick at the waterline, the turret faces were the same thickness. Deck armor was a maximum of 75mm. Internal sloped armour protected the machinery spaces and connected the belt to the torpedo bulkhead. On the 1st of April 1934, Nagato's modernization commenced. Her stern was lengthened to increase speed, torpedo protection was improved, and a clipper bow which increased stability at sea was installed. Her large forward funnel was removed as smoke kept interfering with the ship's bridge. Steam boilers gave way to oil-fired boilers. The most significant change was to her main armament. Gun turrets from the cancelled cargo class battleships, terminated after the Washington Treaty, were mounted on Nagato. These turrets were better protected and at higher elevation, allowing a greater maximum range. The modernization program was completed by the 31st of January 1936. The increase in weight had reduced their top speed to 25 knots. On the 2nd of December 1941, while on board Nagato, Yamamoto delivered the message Climb Mount Nitaka over radio. This was the coded signal for the first air fleet to commence their approach on Pearl Harbor and attack it. In June of 1942, Nagato and Mutsu were part of the Japanese forces that sailed for Midway. Their task force was largely ignored by American forces, however, which instead focused on the Japanese carriers of the first air fleet, sinking all four. The rest of the year was quiet for both ships. On the 27th of August, Mutsu fired anti-aircraft shells from her 16-inch guns, the only time her main armament would be used in combat. 1943 would bring the loss of one of the class. On the 8th of June, Mutsu was at her moorings in Hashirajima when one of her 16-inch magazines exploded, blowing the ship in two. 1,121 sailors died in the explosion and subsequent sinking. A lengthy investigation into the sinking came to the conclusion that a member of the crew deliberately caused the explosion. However, Later exploration by historian Mike Williams puts forward the possibility that an accidental fire led to the detonation. Some eyewitnesses reported smoke rising from the ship near the turret that exploded. It is unlikely that a definitive answer will ever be reached. Nagato continued serving on sorties and with escort duties, as well as delivering Japanese troops to the island of Okinawa in June 1944. In October, en route to Leyte Gulf, the force Nagato was sailing with was attacked by multiple waves of US carrier aircraft in what became the Battle of the Sibuyan Sea. Several bombs struck her and 52 sailors died, but the ship's seaworthiness was not affected. 
The next day, the force reached their objective and began to engage the enemy ships off the island of Samar. Nagato's 16-inch gun spoke for the first time. She fired upon American escort carriers, but no shells struck the enemy ships. After dodging torpedoes from a destroyer, Nagato continued to engage the enemy, claiming hits on an American ship. A few hours later, after the battle, Nagato was again struck by bombs, but once again, the damage was light. Samar would prove to be Nagato's final engagement with enemy ships. In November 1944, she sailed back to Japan. By now, a lack of oil and raw materials had crippled the Imperial Navy. Mutsu's wreck was actually cut open and oil removed from it in the summer of 1944 to supply fuel for a naval operation at that time. After repairs in Yokosuka on the 25th of November, Nagato was converted into a stationary anti-aircraft battery to watch over the port. Several anti-air guns were added, 10 triple 25mm turrets and two 127mm turrets. On the 20th of April 1945, she was officially designated as a reserve ship. There was no fuel left to operate her with. By June 1945, virtually all of her anti-air and secondary armament, as well as her searchlights and rangefinders, had been removed and set up on coastal installations nearby. On the afternoon of the 18th of July 1945, around 100 US carrier aircraft mounted an attack on Yokosuka, several of them attacking Nagato. A large bomb hit the bridge, killing the ship's commander, Rear Admiral Otsuka, and 12 other officers instantly. A 500-pound bomb exploded near turret number 3, killing several dozen men and destroying some of her anti-air mounts. A tiny tin rocket also struck the ship, but failed to arm. The air attack would prove to be the final time Nagato was engaged by the enemy. At 12 noon on the 15th of August 1945, the Nagato's crew assembled on deck and listened to the Emperor give a speech over radio, announcing the end of hostilities. Two weeks later, the American fleet arrived to take command of the port. In Tokyo Bay, aboard USS Missouri, the instrument of Japan's formal surrender was signed, bringing an end to the Second World War. The following year, Nagato was selected as one of the ships to be a target in the atomic bomb tests at Bikini Atoll, Operation Crossroads. On the 1st of July 1946, the first bomb, Abel, is detonated in the air and explodes 1600 yards from Nagato. External damage is quite severe, but the ship stays afloat. On the 24th, the underwater detonation, Baker, occurs only 770 yards from Nagato. Later on, Nagato was reboarded and one of her boilers was tested. It operated without problems for a day and a half, but the ship had sustained considerable damage and was flooding. Five days later, she rolled over and sank, marking the demise of the final remaining Japanese capital ship to fight in World War II. The Nagato was the most powerful battleship in the world when she was launched in 1919, but would barely have a chance to prove herself. Much like the Fuso class before her, her role as a projection of naval power had been passed on to the aircraft carrier. <laughs>